What up, guys? I don't usually follow Jake Paul. I don't follow Logan Paul. Um, but it's been pretty impossible to not keep up a little bit with Jake Paul. I guess he's had three boxing fights now. Two of them against YouTubers. And most recently, is coming off of his latest win against Nate Robinson, professional basketball player. Man who's never boxed, never taken any fighting training at all. Natural order of things. Fight two YouTubers, an NBA player, and then go and then go back to fighting YouTubers. He decided to make a message to KSI challenging him to a fight. So let's check it out. <laughs> Sup, fucker? Jesus. <laughs> Listen, stop making it about the money, KSI. Jake Paul looks like he already has CTE. Like he forgot how to put a hat on, you know? And I would have said, damn, I bet his mom is so disappointed if she wasn't in the video looking pleased as hell to be there. That's my boy. That's my boy. He's really grown up well. I've raised such a great young man. Stop making it about the money, KSI. Let's get the fight happening. You're scared, bro. I know you are. I'm a real dog. I just became the biggest prize fighter overnight. <laughs> I'm a real dog. <laughs> Well, you're definitely a little bit of a bitch. I'm a real dog. I just became the biggest prize fighter overnight. That's not true, though. You know? <laughs> but look, we can get you. We can get you a decent amount of money. We'll talk to your manager. You know. Obviously, I'm getting more, but it's gonna happen. So just sign the contract, bro. He's just an eight-year-old in a man's body. And that's terrifying. But hey, man, Jake Paul, I guess he's proof you don't have to make children's content to be a YouTuber. You just have to have the brain of one. It never ceases to amaze me how cringy Jake Paul is. And it's getting worse somehow. I've never seen somebody with such a lack of self-awareness become more and more unaware. This man should be studied by science. Also, is it contagious? Because... Every time I have to watch a Jake Paul video, I definitely lose a couple of brain cells. You are a dog. <laughs> so just sign the contract, bro. I know your music career is not doing shit right now. Hey, you're not exactly a wordsmith yourself. In one of your latest songs, Fresh Out of London, you were caught having a ghostwriter. If Jake Paul did any type of writing, it'd have his name up there too. Right? If you know anything about this right here, Jake Paul name would be listed. I feel bad for you, bro. You're just a fat dude with man titties in England making laugh challenge videos. <laughs> you are dumb. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> God, that's just, it's so hard to watch. That forced laughter. You fucking Scooby-Doo ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What does that even mean? Scooby-Doo ass motherfucker. So anyways, that was three weeks ago. And then I guess nothing came from it. So he's like, let's, let's kick it up a notch. Conor McGregor, you'll probably take the bait. Well, listen, you can have a ghost writer, but you can't have a ghost fighter get in the ring with Conor McGregor. Just zoomed out like that's not even Jake Paul in there. Who is that? Is that Floyd Mayweather in a blonde wig? Huh. What the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? All right, but he comes in strong. It's coming in hot. Just chill, dude. Chill out a little bit. It's gonna be okay. Also, Ireland's probably not stoked on that, <laughs> on that intro. Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now. Like, I know he put, like, some time and effort into this setup, but it's so funny for me to imagine him getting all of his little props together to make this fucking video. He went out and he bought the he bought an Irish flag, you know? He brought a glass from inside with some fucking drink in it. He paid for a big fake check. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Connor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. Definitely necessary. Bring in his wife. Surefire move. And what's cool about it is it doesn't make you look bad at all. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds, the biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Connor. Oh my God, dude, Jake Paul stinks. 
There's something very funny about beating up a couple of YouTubers and then thinking, damn, I might be the best fighter ever. I might, I might be the best to ever do it. <laughs> like what? <laughs> You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 and as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history, but you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's a fact. Ah, oh, man. Was he purposefully calling Dustin Poirier Dustin Prober? Is that an insult, or does he just not know his name? And Dana White, you're a fucking pussy too, you ugly fucking bald bitch. You said there's 0% chance of this fight happening, but there's 0% chance of you getting some fucking pussy. Do you think there will ever be a point where Jake Paul wakes up and realizes that everybody hates him? Or is that not, is that not in the realm of possibility? Dude, I can't even imagine waking up and being Jake Paul and having to confront myself every day in the mirror. You know, live down the way that I've behaved. Connor, you're scared. Dana, you're scared. Sign the fucking contract, you idiots. Jesus fucking Christ. Irish bitch. Man, he's just like, he's just so frustrated. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> You're not intimidated by your opponent, right? Nah, he's 5'9". I, I don't know what to say, like... You constantly leading up to this fight said how it's not even an issue because he's not a real fighter and he's only 5'9 and all of this shit and then you win and then you're like, I'm the best in the world. Now I can fight Conor McGregor. Is it because Conor's 5'9 and 20 pounds lighter than Jake Paul? Conor McGregor would piece him up so fast, it wouldn't even be worth the pay-per-view. Yeah, he's a good athlete, question mark, but like, he's 5'9", he's never had a fight before, and I'm just a real dog. Um, I saw that you- God damn it, dude, he just goes around saying he's a real dog, and it's the fucking hardest thing to watch. Damn it, he's such a dork. And I'm just a real dog. Um, well, and then just to keep the ball rolling, he rolls up on Dylan Dennis, UFC fighter, and friend of McGregor started throwing toilet paper and water balloons at him while he was in the middle of filming with ex-UFC heavyweight turned comedian Brendan Schaub. Was it a water balloon? I don't know what it was. It was because I got close. It hit me with like some metal, but it was, I think it was a water balloon. It was just a water balloon. Water balloon and toilet paper. That's not too bad. I was going to try to jump on the truck, but I couldn't get it. Dude, if you would have jumped I'm on the so truck, close. there's a lot of dudes in that truck. Who has water balloons? <laughs> my son, my son. He's literally calling Dylan a pussy and then runs away. It's the, weir it's the weirdest psychological move I've ever seen. Talk about cognitive dissonance, man. I don't even know what to say. It's a lose-lose for McGregor to take this fight. If he takes this fight and he wins, then it's like, well, what did anybody expect? If he takes this fight and he loses, well, that would be an absolute nightmare because I don't think there's any more space in Jake Paul's body to inflate his ego. And somehow, somewhere, there's people who like this man. I don't ever run into them in real life. I've never heard anybody say they're a fan of Jake Paul, but somehow, somewhere, they exist, I guess. Anyways, I guess there's probably a hell of a lot more shit that I can say, but I'm gonna end up going in circles here, and there's no way I'm gonna watch any more of Jake Paul's videos. I just, I can't take that. Nobody should do that to themselves. I can't watch this hyperactive ADHD sociopath any longer. He's like a human Red Bull. But hey, 50 million dollars? I'll fight Jake Paul for 50 million? It's not even a question. I could use it. I could also use a couple of likes and a subscribe. Unless you're scared, dude. Because I'm a real dog. Um, <laughs> I'm just a real dog. Um.